Hey Commodores, I'm Deborah, your host. Joining me are Angela and Apollo for this week's The Buzz, the show that keeps you up to date on everything that's going on here at Gulf Coast State College. Hey to all my sports lovers out there. Friday the 6th, the Commodore baseball team will be playing back-to-back -back games at home. The first game will start at 12.30, taking on Pensacola State College, and at 5.30, they play Tallahassee. Monday the 9th, there will be a co-ed basketball game that starts at 6 p.m. in the Billy, ha Bi Billy Harrison Fieldhouse. Tuesday the 10th at 3.30 p.m., the Commodores baseball team will be back home taking on Northwest Florida College. The Lady Commodores volleyball team will also be at home playing Coastal Alabama South at 6 p.m. Friday the 13th at 10 a.m., the Commodores baseball team will be back home taking on Chipola College. The Lady Commodores volleyball team will also be at home playing, playing Florida State College at Jacksonville at 6 p.m. Saturday the 14th at 6 p.m., the Lady Commodores volleyball team will be back at home taking on Santa Fe College. Now to Angela with our club information. I'm Angela, and welcome to Get Involved, where we spotlight one of the many clubs and organizations here on campus. This week, we're shining a light on ripples of change. Gulf Coast State College has many different clubs, organizations, activities, and sporting events that a student can join and enjoy, but ripples of change takes that one step further by giving back to the community and helping wherever needed. Their mission is to assist those in needs, whether it be domestic or abroad, striving to build a better today through the philosophy that we can always do more than we did yesterday, inspire others to do the same, and promoting higher education. The current project involves designing and building a sustainable tiny house village for the less fortunate in the community. Ripples of Change has recently teamed up with the Red Cross and Enactus to help provide disaster relief to Puerto Rico. And they have also partnered with Foundation Prothesis 3D, a nonprofit in South America, to 3D print prosthetics for those that do not have economical access to them. If you'd like to give back to the local community, or if you just want to swing a hammer while working in a team to be part of something big, then you should check out Ripples of Change. The meetings are on Thursday at 12.30 p.m. in the ATC building in room 323. For more information, contact Antonio Odessi at aodessi at golfcoast.edu or you can call 850-769-1551, extension 5887. Next, let's check in with Deborah for the latest entertainment news. Thank you, Angela. Are you looking for something to fun to do this weekend? Well, you don't have to search anymore because I'm here to bring you more info about what's new on the movie scene this weekend. Blade Runner 2049 opens this Friday. This movie takes place 30 years after the events of the first film. Officer K, a new Blade Runner for the Los Angeles Police Department, unearths a long buried secret that has the potential to plunge what's left of society into chaos. His discovery leads him on a quest to find former Blade Runner Rick Deckard, who's been missing for 30 years. Another movie hitting Panama City theaters this Friday is My Little Pony the Movie. A dark force threatens Ponyville, so Twilight Sparkle, Applejack, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, and Rarity, also known as the main six, embark on an epic, unforgettable journey beyond Equestria, where they meet new friends and together overcome exciting challenges by using the magic of friendship to save their home. Bronies, Pegasisters, and pony lovers alike will enjoy this movie. These two movies are among many others opening in theaters this weekend. So if you're bored with school or just want a way to hang out with friends, check out our three movie theaters here in Panama City for some endless fun. Remember to also bring your student ID to receive a discount on your tickets. That's it for your inside look at the movie scene for this week. Well, that's it for this week, The Buzz. If you know of any other events going on around campus that you would like us to share, send us an email to Gulf Coast Productions at gmail.com. 
On behalf of myself, Angela, and Apollo, we would like to thank you for watching The, the Buzz. Buzz.